Hello everyone, and welcome back to Jesse Heck Creative. Today we're going over Shipwreck, Snowjob, Torpedo, and the Eel from the G.I. Joe Classified series. Before we begin, make sure to hit that like button and smash that subscribe button. Now let's get to it. Shipwreck has been one of my most anticipated figures, and this one somewhat disappoints. I'll tell you later what happens with it, but it's a pretty nice figure. The eyes are the biggest issue for me, though, here. They're a little bit wall-eyed, a little bit to the side, and it kind of bothers me. It's very strange. The hair looks really nice, though, and it blends super well into that beard. It's great. Very awesome head sculpt. The body is pretty cool. I'm not sure if it's new or not, though. I think a lot of this is reused from Spirit. The tattoos are new, and all the little sailor-like portions of his body are really great. All the insignias, the shark, the eagle over here, the other eagle, and then the anchor with, I believe, another eel going around it is super neat. Again, I'm not really sure what all those mean, but they're great. The chest hair looks wonderful. The shirt is really nice. Below the belt, we do have a little anchor, which is wonderful over here. All these little insignias in him are really great. I just wish I knew what they meant. And the pants are some faded jeans. They're pretty cool, looking good with the paint on them. And they're pretty baggy really nicely done the boots are done as well really nicely they have some good treads in the bottom a couple laces here and there they're great and that holster is nice as well with the other side having a larger holster and a small hook for accessories we'll see soon when you fully kit him out shipwreck looks awesome the head sculpt is nicer and much better than before with that hat it's so great I love how it looks it is a very nicely done hat and looks super cool but let's talk about Polly over here this pair is amazing. The little peg leg for Polly can fit in on this rope over here and the rope is pretty nice. A lot of people have been saying it goes in one way, it goes in a different way, but I just like how it looks anyways. It's a really good piece and Polly does fit in very nicely over here super well. None on the other side though. It's a shame. You can't really put this rope on the other side. There is a little hook on here that I believe the anchor can attach onto, taking the anchor off of the front right over here and putting it on the back. Looks pretty nice, but I also like it on that side as well. Looks great over here. The small pistol looks pretty cool as well over here. Very nicely done for that. It's a little thing, but there's a lot of cool little detail on it. It's hard to see for me at least, but a lot of different like, you know, coral and particles and stuff. It's very seaworthy and very awesome in that regard. The larger pistol over here is nice. You can put it in either way, but I chose to put it in this way over here. It is a very old school one that's reminiscent of, I believe, a flintlock. Very, very old weapon. And there is also a little hole over here to place this into as well if you want to attach this to that. Also, there is a myriad of ways to put the accessories on Shipwreck and I just love them all. What a great figure. Pretty cool, even though those eyes are kind of sidelined for me. Oh, here comes Snowjob. I really love how this figure looks. The head sculpt is nice. The paint is something else though. It isn't really that great in this corner over here by the mouth. It's kind of showing too much skin. It's really strange. There's also some issue by the top of the head over over here and that's a bummer. I do like the rest of it though. The whole base is really great for a snow gear outfit for Joe's and the articulation is different as well going all the way around so that's a nice feature for this figure. It looks great mostly white a lot of browns and blacks over here looking really excellent a couple grays here and there. The paint is all right not perfect but I just love how chunky and big it looks. It's all brand new and super cool. He comes with a pair of skis and a pair of ski poles that fit really well into his feet and the hands they're very nice pieces and are really well painted. I love how they look and it doesn't really matter which one you put where, they're basically the same piece doubled. So yeah, go crazy wherever you want to put them. He comes with a sniper rifle with a really cool scope. It's a neat piece I don't think we've really seen before. It looks very nice though and fits very well in his hand. The pistol he comes with is pretty cool too. It's a nice piece. It looks really good. It's neat. He comes with this alternate more relaxed head sculpt. Looks really good. There is that side eye once again. It's kind of a shame and the hair looks glued on weirdly enough it's kind of bad I think the beard saves it though by looking pretty good and this collar is really great as well this undone hood it's just pretty good but not perfect in my eyes once you get his head out of the hood and then back in with the goggles on this looks really nice for him I think I'm gonna keep it this way it's pretty cool no pun intended he also comes with some regular old little snowshoes that are pretty cool but not the tennis racket on feet that I'm usually used to they look very nice and are really well done and probably one of the better parts 
parts of this set. You can also holster the small pistol on his side, looking really nice over here. Just gotta place that in and done. Putting it all together, Snowjob's backpack is one of the most elaborate backpacks that has ever been in G.I. Joe history, at least for classified for me. I'm not even sure if I did this exactly right, but it does look pretty accurate. You strap on his skis over here, as well as the ski poles. They clip into here. Not fully clipped on this side for some reason, but it does look really cool. I'm not sure if this does anything over here, these two little prongs, but his gun does fit all the way down here, which is nuts. Yeah, it's a really elaborate, insane backpack for this insane fella. Shipwreck stands at about six inches tall or so, while Snowjob stands at about six and a quarter inches tall. Shipwreck stands at about six inches tall or so, while Snowjob stands at about six and a half inches tall. They look really nice together next to Dusty and the Arctic Bat, two environment-specific characters that are like these two environment-specific characters. I definitely really love Snowjob. He's really great once you get that backpack working, and Shipwreck is really good too, a couple things aside. But I do think they're really great figures to add to the G.I. Joe Classified Collection. We have some more environment-specific characters coming right after this. Hello everyone, and thank you so much for watching so far. Make sure to click like, subscribe, share, and leave a comment. You can also click the bell icon for more creativity. Now let's get back to it. Torpedo is up next, and I find his face to be interesting. Very stern, very stiff, not really well painted on the side. It's kind of a shame and a bummer. The eyebrow is something weird going on with it. I mean, it's a piercing, I'm not exactly sure. But yeah, this face isn't really giving me much confidence. The whole thing is kind of in this wetsuit headgear covering, so at least it's fine, but that face is really weird to me. The body is mostly black, a little bit of gray, and a tiny bit of red. Yeah, it's just okay for me. Kind of boring, I think. It's just very ho-hum and whatever, I guess. I do like the placement of the colors, though. More gray in the center, all the way down the center, with some black on the outside fringes. This flap comes off a lot, and that's a shame. Kind of a bummer. But it looks nice, and it's very form-fitting, I guess, I think. Luckily to me, his ugly mug can be kind of covered with this. It's really nicely done, this scuba gear. I love it. The tubing goes into the backpack over here, looking really nice. I wish there was a more G.I. Joe logo right over here with the star. That'd be great, but other than that, it's fine, I guess. I guess they're more covert than I would like them to be. But the whole mask and goggles, along with the breather, looks really great. Epic. The harpoon gun he comes with is pretty cool. I like the little yellow tag on it as well as the silver little harpoon in it. It's a neat piece but it warps like crazy. This piece to the left to the right it's all just movable and too malleable for me. I don't like it. I like the intention. I don't like the end result. Get better Hasbro with this a little bit. I'm hoping this one is for non-water combat because it won't work underwater probably though this is a nice piece. It is a little rubbery as well. Has removable stock. It works out pretty well and does have a little piece on the end for things to fit in. I'd love for this piece to have something on the end, actually. We could fit in a harpoon. That'd be great. He also comes with a small knife that is all jagged and pretty cool, but I won't really be using it too much. I like the detail on it, but it just is kind of too small, and he can't fit the other weapon on him, so putting it in this sheath down here is pretty difficult. Just gotta fit that in there, and you're good. Yeah, this really wobbles around, though, and it's kind of a shame, but what are you gonna do? I did just figure out there is a clip. You can actually store this weapon here, so maybe he'll be using his knife more after all. I also noticed this little piece over here with some radar stuff. That's pretty neat. This figure's getting a little bit better by the minute. And finally, what would a diver be without flippers? The flippers look really nice. I love their redness on them. They're really sweet. Adds a bit more color to Torpedo. It also adds a little more nuance. They're really cool. They even have little pegs in the bottom, or at least no pegs. Holes where you could fit pegs inside the feet without compromising it. Super great. They're very versatile and wonderful. I just like these a lot. They're cool. My biggest complaint about him is he doesn't have a hinge neck so he can look up fully. You can't really get him looking up that much. It's a shame, but what are you going to do? It's at least as good as you can get it. And now for the Cobra Eel, looking awesome. The head sculpt is very Cobra-esque, I would think. With all the troopers and stuff like that, what have you. It is very neat. I like how this looks a lot. I love the mask. It gives you that big Cobra look to it. And the head sculpt on the inside looks really nice. Those eyes, eyebrows, and skin tone. Very well done. The body and weapon are similar to before. There is actually a little more heft to this. Some more armor up here. Cobra logo right over here. Another little sort of radar over here as well 
on the back. We finally get something on the back at least. An eel going around an anchor with a skull on the back. That's awesome. Why could Torpedo not have this? They proved they could do it with this. Whatever. There's some jets back here with some holes in them for pegs and accessories you could put in there. That's wonderful. I really like how this looks. It's pretty threatening, especially with that gold harpoon. Very neat. The legs look really nice. I do like this whole belt setup. It's pretty neat looking awesome with all the pouches and everything. And the legs are gray too with the same kind of knife, I believe. Maybe the same exact thing. Oh, it definitely is the same exact thing. Who are we kidding here? Who are we talking about here? The sheath looks really great on the bottom as well. And the flippers are the same as torpedoes, except done in all black. That's nice. And the bottoms are the same too. Same sculpt, but let's see how they look in red. This helmet just adds to the menace like torpedo, but attaches to the back over here, working out really nice. I love how it looks. The gold on top is really great, simulating a little light. And the visor is wonderful, as well as a communicator on the side. It does fit really tight. You can get it off and it works well. It's an excellent companion piece to this figure. Adding the flippers from Torpedo is nice and all, but I only have one pair of these. I'm probably going to give them back to Torpedo, seeing as he doesn't have that much red at all. But it looks fine, I guess. Maybe too much red on my account, but it's pretty neat nonetheless and works out for this figure. And why not? Let's try the eel flippers on Torpedo, and they look nice. I think there is too little red, though, in this figure. Maybe everyone just deserves red flippers, I guess. And here's Torpedo and the eel next to Sergeant Slaughter and Barbecue. They look nice together, and I thought I'd just mix it up with some different characters here and there for height comparison. Torpedo stands at about, I would say, just over six inches tall or so, and the eel is around the same or so. They look nice together, and it's good to get more eels, especially seeing as they're probably not going to be produced anymore. Good luck to those who have them, and good luck to those who want them, but either way, Torpedo and the Eels are a great buy. Overall, G.I. Joe Classified is going great, and water is wet. I thought Shipwreck would be my favorite of the bunch, but alas, he isn't. I do appreciate all the little nautical accoutrement they put on him, and all the accents and tattoos and everything, but alas, it isn't really enough for me for some reason. I really love how he looks, yet I don't like the little minutia of him, such as his eyes, and those little cuts that are on his shoulders, but I feel like I may have been expecting too much. And too much is what I got with Snow Job. I really love the figure. There's a lot of stuff that comes with him, and once you get that backpack going, he's a dream. A really great figure that if you gave this body mold and all the accessories another head of a character, everyone be sure to get it. Duke, Roadblock, Gung Ho, Spirit, Outback, any character you could put in this body and it would sell. I really love the versatility of this figure. Torpedo looks really great with that mask, but the monochrome colors hold him back a little bit. I like the eel more for looking more outwardly vibrant and red, and that backpack logo looks really cool. If they put a little bit more effort into Torpedo, I'd like him more, but I think the eel steals the show here for me. If nautical nonsense or frozen times is your thing, then I highly recommend picking up Torpedo and a couple eels and Snow Job as well. They're all awesome figures. Even multiple Snow Jobs to facilitate kit bashing. Shipwreck, maybe for me, I do like all the nautical gear on him, but there's something about him that doesn't really seem right to me. But make no mistake, the only Snow Job being played here is you not getting these figures. So which one is your favorite? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching Jesse Heck Creative. Feel free to click like, subscribe, share, or leave a comment. You can also visit us at jesseheckcreative.com where you'll find more reviews like this one. Thanks again for watching and keep being creative. Stay tuned!